Katie, tonight the U.S. State Department is now warning Americans in that country to be ready for possible evacuations, to be ready to get to the U.S. Embassy. But our Matt Rivers on the ground there showing us what that journey might be like, the situation just outside the U.S. Embassy tonight. Tonight, with Haiti spiraling deeper into chaos, the State Department sending a letter to Americans here in Haiti telling them to be ready for possible helicopter evacuations from the embassy in Port-au-Prince. But today, we saw firsthand just how dangerous even getting to that embassy can be. That building right there is the U.S. Embassy in Port-au-Prince, and there has been gang fighting across this entire area. But if you come with me this way, you see that gas station just down the road there? That's how close the gangs have managed to get. The distance between that point and the embassy, no more than a quarter mile. This chaos forcing thousands from their homes. This makeshift shelter here just a few weeks ago was a government building. We walk in and see them, families sleeping on the floor. Marie Lina Leon and her 11-year-old son, Fabienne, desperate for food. How difficult has this been for you and for your son? It's very difficult to feed him, Marie Lina tells me. People here are dying one death, hunger. David, Americans being told they'll be given just one day's notice prior to any potential flight out and that they'll have to make it to the embassy at their own risk. David? All right, Matt Rivers in Haiti. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.